compatible with Windows 7 logo, you know that all of them are going to work together this way. That's so fantastic. we do a lot of testing with the devices end to end. We validate the workflow in order to ensure that the same consistent experience is delivered. So consumers don't have to worry about you know, using the little buttons on the uh, printer or trying to figure out the little UI on the LCD screen on the device that they bought to connect it to a wireless network, add a security code, any of that. It's simple. Apply power to the device, walk to your Windows 7 PC, and do the same workflow. Cool. Very good. So it's great to see consistency in how uh, wireless devices connect to networks and how you mm -hmm. set those up. I think that's going to help uh, a lot of consumers, especially my friends and family, and maybe they'll call me less for a tech support <laughs> and more just to see how I'm doing. Right. So, uh, you know, Gabe mentioned an interesting point over there about devices. And while we're not going to show devices, I'd just like to talk a little bit about them. Devices are actually much more complex than the router. Because just sorry, device. We're going to talk like wireless picture frames. Wireless picture frames, sure. wireless IP cameras, wireless printers. Printers, got it. Sure. Yes. These yeah. all sorts AD of receivers, these types of things. So non-PCs. Non right. Non-PCs, non-router devices. It. And you buy one of these devices, and they have a big sticker on there that says wireless. And a lot of them are supporting wireless. But how do you set them up? It's really complex, especially so many different devices, different mechanisms. For most of them, you've got to plug in the cable. You know, that's a problem. So in Windows, we do have a solution now, where, wherein you can go to add a device. You know, your device appears. Click there, enter the pin, and the device is set up. So that's actually from the Start menu on Windows 7, you'll see Devices and Printers. Yep. From here, this is the same workflow. It's just add a device. So once you plug it in, and again, we don't have a device here to show you this, but when you click Add a Device, it'll automatically discover the device that hasn't been configured yet. It's not even really associated with the network. We'll discover it, you click it, click Next, the same workflow as I mentioned before. Fantastic. Well, when you do have some devices to show us, you'll have to uh, come back and we'll, we'll do an amendment to the video. All right, so where can we go for more information on Wi-Fi protected setup? Is there a Microsoft site? There, there is a Microsoft site and there is also the Wi-Fi Alliance. So you could visit the Wi-Fi Alliance and there's a lot of good information on there. Just live search Wi-Fi Alliance? Absolutely. Cool. And, or you could go to www.microsoft.com slash rally. Rally, yep. R-A-L-L-Y. And ra what Rally is, is an umbrella of technologies that helps set up a device, install drivers, you know, get it on the network. We're in there as Windows Connect now. So just search for Windows Connect now. That's our branding for Wi-Fi protected setup. Fantastic. And Rally is a site for people who are building devices. That's not a consumer thing. So if you're building a device or you're a software vendor and you want to understand how the technology works, you'd go to the Rally site to see that umbrella of technology. Okay, or, how you or if you are just you know, intrigued about how it yeah. works to get some more information. Right. Absolutely. Great. All right, guys, thanks very much for your time. Come sure. see us again and show us some more cool stuff in Windows 7. Thanks for having Thank us. Thank you. All right, cheers.